All right, so so we're doing a, kind of a wrap up. Uh, first, let's just talk about let's talk about the winner. Uh, the winner was the shed. Yes, it won it all. Yeah, and that was uh, a cool place, man. Boy, that was. That I still was awesome. think about that place. I do. I know. I saw their sauces. Did you have the sauce yet? I did. Yeah, it's about gone. Is it good? Yeah, I'll be going to Publix. <laughs> oh yeah, they have it in seven. <laughs> now there's like ten thousand locations. Really? That sign is so old. Oh wow. So uh, the shed was our winner. Um, it's funny because we got a lot of slack for knocking people for not having certain items on their menu. Well, I mean, that, that was kind of our criteria though, right? When we started out, these were the, the staples we thought they, uh, a barbecue place should have. Right. So, and if they didn't, then they well, get a big fat zero. They got a zero. <laughs> yes. So, so the bottom line is this, um, cause I want to explain it to them cause they just whined the whole way. Well, dude, they didn't say they had brisket. Um, it's like saying, I'm opening a burger joint. Oh, I don't have onion rings. People are like, what? We're not serving fries here. Yeah. Yeah. It, it doesn't make sense. So we, we thought if you claim to be a, a barbecue joint, you have to have those four. Those are staples. Yeah. Right. Okay. And if you go to the shed, they'll tell you that's a staple. And I mean, the lady even said, really? Yeah, of course we have brisket. Of course we do. We're a barbecue joint. Yeah. Yes. So, so we made a commitment before we went to any places that... If they don't have it on the menu, uh, and then uh, they get a zero. Yeah, okay. simple. And then we found out some places have it sometimes. Well, I'm not just hungry on the weekends. <laughs> I know. Seriously. Mm -hmm. I really hate that you can only get prime rib on Friday nights that or something like sense. that. No. Yeah. So if they'd have had brisket, you know which one we're talking about. If, if, they'd, had, if they'd have had the brisket, that, that one in, in just outside of Birmingham... Um, Saw's Barbecue. Saw's Barbecue. They nailed would it. Have they won. would have won it hands down. Hands down. So Saw's um, Barbecue was the best barbecue. It was. If they had that brisket, they right. would have won it all. We would have yes. declared them the winner. So we, yeah, and we didn't try the brisket. and, and But with everything else we tried, you, you well, have to, assume, really it was, good. You have to yeah. assume it was really good. So the guy at the counter tells us in the video, which you guys saw, yeah, soft, get it? Um, <laughs> he said he said every so often. He didn't even know when they had brisket. Oh. And then the people in the back said weekends. So we we're like, you know what, guys? I don't want to just have to come on one day. I come when I'm hungry mm -hmm. and I want barbecue. If you're open, you should have all of the stuff above. Yeah, well, it's a pretty small place too. I mean, if they're just going to serve it on the weekends and the crowd there knows it, right. that place is going to have a line out the freaking door all the way down. Absolutely, you know, the street. So, Absolutely, you know, but people are hungry day. Monday through Thursday. They are. Yeah, I don't and there know. was a good crowd in there when we were there. Yeah. We were there kind of late. I mean, it was almost closing when we got there. And it was like eight o'clock. That something. was huge. It yeah. was like when was when late. food is normally nasty. Mm -hmm. Their stuff tasted like it just came it out. Just came out. I know. And some of the others, we we got there first. Um, on a couple stops along the way, and it tasted like we were at the end of the day already. Mm -hmm. and we were their first customers, so yeah, there was a there was a big shift. There was a big difference, you know, in quality. I thought. So let's talk about the worst place we went to. Do you remember what it was? Are <sighs> uh, you first? All right, Dreamland <laughs> Barbecue. Oh my gosh! Number one, when we did our research, we looked up barbecue restaurants. Nowhere, it's their their website is dreamlandbarbecue.com. Not Dreamland Barbecue, we only have ribs.com. So right. we, and it got highly rated. So we thought, oh, Tuscaloosa, College Town, boom. Yep. We're going to be right there. Let's try Dreamland Barbecue. They have two locations. And then we get there, and it's a Dreamland Barbecue ribs. Ribs. On only. their physical <laughs> yeah. sign. Only. And nobody wants their greasy, sloppy sausage. Nobody nobody no, cares no. about sausage like that. No. So, so we're there. And then they had, like, no side selection. They didn't. Um, what did we have? It was the beans. The, we, we had their beans. The beans and the coleslaw. coleslaw. Yeah, right. They didn't have mac and cheese. No mac and cheese. They like nothing they else. Nothing else that they didn't have collard remember. greens. They no. didn't have. They didn't have nothing. No cornbread. No nothing. Um, and it was salty. The ribs. Real salty. The ribs were salty. Yeah. Salty. They gave us the whole ribs, which I liked. <laughs> yeah, they were good. Don't get me wrong. And they they cooked them very well, flawlessly, <laughs> very cooked. very well. But yeah, I but, felt like a man. I felt like a deer in the backyard <laughs> on a salt lake. And just no <laughs> lie, we were like, we were running to the car for bottles of water. Oh, yeah, it was that salty. Yeah. but they were nice. I love those people there. Uh, Corky's. Corky's was Corky's, a surprise. Yeah, it was a big surprise. Um, you know, being a chain, you mm -hmm. know, that they are. I, I thought I thought Corky's was fantastic. 
I really did. We thought they were going to be nasty tourist trap. Yep. And that whole, the three places we went to in Memphis, that was the best of them all. Yeah. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. That was crazy. And they do have brisket on the, on the uh, menu. You know, I saw a couple uh, comments in there from some of the viewers. I guess and, we missed, and they, yeah, we right, missed the brisket guys, on so, the menu. So again. good reading and, and glad you watched the video in that detail because there was a few of you that rewound and they mm -hmm. went back and said, look, it's down there at the bottom. And We couldn't okay, find sorry. the brisket, yeah, sorry. Exactly. But. So here's what cracks me up though. <laughs> 400 of you told us the same thing. You did such good reading on the menu that you saw brisket, but you didn't realize you're repeating what 400 people have already said. You didn't read the comments. So I'm just going to point out right below you are 400 other comments that tell us briskets on the menu in case you didn't see it like we didn't. All right, cool. I just have to oh do that. Gosh, I have to do that. Oh my gosh. We literally are on, the, we're literally filming these places and we're like, okay, we can't say that. The viewer's going to yeah. say this. Yep. Oh, they're going to totally comment on that. And mm -hmm. I mean, if I mention the word pot, everybody just talks about getting stoned. Right. That's all they do. I if that. I mention, you know, building a wall in Mexico for a church, they go crazy. They're like, you're building a wall? Mm -hmm. Really? No. It's like, you, you're trying to guess what you guys are going to say is crazy. So I just stopped playing that game. I'm not, I'm not going to worry. We do what we do. We're just regular people, just like you guys. So, um, so that was awesome. So let's, all right. So the central barbecue was hot. Yeah. Hot in that room. Some, yeah. Oh my God. That tent. Yeah. It was literally. I just think I was peeling toward the end of the week. <laughs> It was so hot, and I just hope somebody, and I'm like, can you lower the heat? Because we're yeah. dying in the tent. And she says, oh, it's broke. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's 900 degrees in there. It's broke. Yeah, it was really no, hot. they can't it adjust it. It's either, it's either burn and fry, or it's 40 degrees in there and freeze, and we'll just roll, roll sides of beef in. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was brutal, man. That totally was, brutal. Yeah, and I don't know if that affected the, 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 the taste of the food, because I was just... I couldn't get my mind off of mm. like how hot it was in there. Crazy. Commissary started off on a bad foot. Did we did. It did. Yeah. She was all in our junk. That the, waitress, the waitress. She knew. She knew. She's like, how is it? How is it? What do you think? What do you think? How is it? I'm like, God, you know, I'm not going to tell you the truth. Just, she was so sweet. I know. And took care of us and everything. But I got to wait to go. Anytime I, we go outside, it ain't good. You know? <laughs> if we love it, we're like, oh, we love it. Talk to the camera right now at the table. It's so good. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so that, that wasn't great at all. It wasn't. There, I mean, there was a lot of people in there. So, you know, it just, I guess it depends on, you know, what people like. You know, who knows. But, because uh, that place was packed. Mm -hmm. It was. Actually, oh, yeah. all the places we went to were really close except the shed. Because we got there right when it opened. Right when it opened. Like, but, I mean, we're like, hello, we're by here. By the time we left, it was full. It was full. So, yeah, it's really interesting how those things do. So, um, oh, and next week, you guys are going to see the behind-the-scenes footage. Ah. <laughs> uh, we there's a place that said world's or no best pizza in town, right? Yeah, Remember? I think so, yep. And I it had so. a permanent sign that said that, like signage that lights up. Dude, you killed me. <laughs> no, I'm serious. There wasn't like a no. A I am. I'm telling me you killed me because we were dry. We were in the far far left lane, and we saw the sign. He's like, "Oh my god, we got to go now!" And he just whips it across <laughs> three lanes of traffic. I cut we everybody go off. into the parking lot, and we're like, oh, "Let's go see." And we're not going <laughs> to tell you how that goes. No. We're going to oh. let you know if it's the best pizza in town. Mm -hmm. We had to stop. Anybody who invests money in a real sign that says that on the side of the building, we have to check it out. Yeah. And then uh, um, some other behind-the-scenes stuff. Things we did on our travels. Uh, we went to... Uh, we went to Whataburger. We went to Whataburger. That aired already. I, pulled I know. Up. I, I saw that. that. I saw, well, some of it. Yeah, some of it aired. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jim. Jim. Jim, practice Jim. recording Thank on you. your phone, would you? <laughs> He's like, I'm like, all right, hold this. I'm like, okay, here's my first ever Whataburger bite. Are you ready? Click. And then it was just done. I was off. I'm like, did he really just turn the camera off? I was editing. I'm like, Jim, oh, what did you do? He funny. felt really bad about it. He wrote he me. Yeah. But uh, I had to I had to show it anyway. Jim's what, awesome. So I really haven't shown my first Whataburger bite yet. Yeah, yeah. So we, yet. we have yeah. to go back. Okay. All right. Yeah, I was trying to pull like the closest Whataburger to us, and it was like 180 miles or something. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not like, going. I don't think so. it ain't that no, good. No, no. 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 I, if, if I'm driving that far, I'm getting in and out on the way. So, uh, so this is what we're gonna do. Let's. Uh, so, congratulations to the chef, first of all, for yeah, absolutely. You guys are great. Uh, they great they job. put a lot of work in their social mm -hmm. media. They put a lot of work in their store. They put a lot of work in all their food. Uh, all Five pit masters, four in the morning. A yeah. hundred pulled porks a day. 
they're cooking. 50 briskets a day. Guys, that's massive amounts of meat that they're moving. Uh, they have their, they make their own sauces. They have a saucery, which you'll see in the behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. uh, their father makes the sauces for them. Um, and we're, we're talking about, the, we want to wrap this up. We don't want to be going on and on, but we're talking about the next trip. Yeah. And what were we talking about? Well, there was a lot of viewers that, that saw what we did. And, um, th uh, there was a ton of comments that said, you guys need to come to Texas. If you want barbecue, then you need to come to Texas. So Jack, we were just talking and, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to see what happens. Uh, there could be a possibility of going to, to Texas and. We're working on sponsorship for that right now, mm -hmm. but here's what we're going to do. And we're going to tell you right up front, guys, beef ribs, not pork ribs. We're replacing the ribs. It's going to say beef ribs. We require Texas always brags. We have beef ribs. Yeah. Everybody else says pork. It's we do beef. beef in the world, yeah. So we're, the yeah. best beef comes out of Texas. We're going to Texas to try beef ribs and pulled pork and chicken mm -hmm. and Brisket. Brisket. So, uh, so if you so, want yeah. us to do Texas, if you have the, or we're literally going to do like uh, Amarillo, Austin, Midland, Dallas, uh, Dallas Fort Worth. Yeah. We don't know if we want to go down to Houston. No offense, Houston, but you know it's not my favorite spot in Texas. Yeah, but maybe if there's, uh, if we'll there's it yeah, if there's a big desire to go to Houston, if there's some barbecue you. places. Well, we made the drive though from uh, what was it, Memphis, and drove straight down to Biloxi. Yeah. And there was the shed. So, I mean, that yeah. was well worth the drive. We me. drove so, five hours for yeah, good barbecue yeah, we, we for did. one place. That was awesome. So, if Houston's worth it, guys, let us know. Mm -hmm. um, so, we're planning that for, I don't know, we may be the fall or, or even the winter. This won't be the summer. No. Guaranteed it won't no. be the summer. Texas, have, <laughs> have fun in Texas yeah. in the summer. But that's what we're looking at. Let me know what you think. Start giving us some barbecue places in Texas. And I'll work on sponsorship and getting this trip paid for. Yeah, that'd be great. As uh, as Jim is home enjoying his grill of grills. Yes, know, he's uh, already he's cooked on it. I know he has. I he sent us pictures. His brand he's, new he's so smoker. Funny. Yeah, that's so he awesome. Wants, he wants us to come out there. Absolutely. He does. Yeah, so. he does. Dyersburg. Yeah. Oh, real quick, let's talk about that. So when we picked, uh, this is the last thing, then we're out of here. When we <laughs> picked winners, okay, we randomly picked them. I randomly went through the list of all the emails that came in and mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, uh, you know, one, two, I didn't do them all in, con in consecutive. I just randomly picked five emails. Don't know who it was. Right. And then I lined them all up and, uh, and then you picked, I numbered them one through five and then yep. you picked one through five. I did. I did. So we picked, uh, we picked that you picked three. Number three. The middle one. Yeah. And that was, that was Jim. And we're like, oh my goodness, he's from Tennessee. Great. They're going to think we rigged it. They're going to think we, yeah. we, we can't get a guy from Tennessee. And you and I discussed it and we said, no, we got to be honest. Mm -hmm. We got to stay with the random choice we picked. Right. No matter what the backlash is, because he's from Tennessee. Right. Not, not one complaint. You guys gave us not one complaint that, was that awesome. he was from Tennessee. You know what you complained about? <laughs> that he was white. And that he was a man. A man. That was it. Okay. So, number one, we don't... I'm from California. I don't see color. And I, I, I teach my I kids. Like you teach your kids the same way. We have many, many friends that are Hispanic and black and Chinese. It doesn't matter. Your heart beats just like mine. So, that wasn't an issue. We didn't, we didn't, even, see, we didn't even see who they were. He just picked a number. As for women, the reason... <laughs> there were not any women in that choice is because 75% on my analytics, 75% men watch my show. So there's a huge chance that I had a five, we have 500 entries, 500, That's a lot. We have 500 entries to go on this trip that could make it to Nashville and join us. 75% <clears throat> of that's going to be men. So if I pick five, the odds of me picking a woman and I don't, I got to tell you, if a woman won, I'd have to take the husband because yeah. there's no way I'm driving around right. uh, with a lady in the car. It's completely unacceptable in my world. Pretty so nice. if you want, la ladies, <clears throat> if you win, it has to be either your kid, you know, who's over 18 mm -hmm. or a brother or an uncle. You can give it to somebody. Yeah. But there's no way we're driving around with a lady in the car. That's not happening. Right. And we're not staying in hotels nope. with a lady. Nope. 
So that's just not going to happen. So I just want to address that, guys. We're not like that. Uh, you guys are awesome. We try to give you good entertainment. We try to get you so close to the food that you can taste it. Yeah, it was great. It was awesome. Yeah. So you guys were great. It, it was huge success. Uh, Gorilla Grills was real happy with it all. They're, they're sold out. They are literally <laughs> sold out of all their smokers. And they have back orders all the way into summer. Wow. No lie. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. If if um, if Jack decides if he gets a sponsor for this Texas trip, and if he you know orchestrates another contest and and to bring someone like you did, mm -hmm. guys, I I highly highly suggest that they that they send in an entry because I'll tell you what, man, that that was like the one almost the best three days ever. I mean, you're just out on the road. You're away it from was work. Great. You're away from everything. And you're just around people, just everyday people, you know, that are having a blast. We're cutting up, you know, there's a lot of things going on, a lot of talk inside the van. It was, it was really, really good. I mean, that was, that's on the bucket list, man. You know, honestly, we didn't think it'd be we, that good. I didn't either, no. but to travel that far and just to get to do what we did, um, man, it was awesome. Dude. It's a once but in a lifetime was, opportunity, it, guys. It, it is. It really is. And I would, I would strongly suggest if you're going to do that, that you send in an entry because uh, it's well worth it. So Mitch will be coming to the next trip if we can put it together, okay? <laughs> so uh, so hang in there. We'll give you more details next week behind the scenes. Yeah, it's great. All right, guys. We love you. Take care. Take care. God bless.